It's me, Mario. And so this movie, as you would expect, is about the Super Mario Brothers and their entire journey as plumbers over to the Mushroom Kingdom with Bowser and everybody else. And if you are a fan of Super Mario games, or just Nintendo in general, a lot of what is in this movie, it's very similar to that. So if you enjoy those things, well, you pretty much know the general story of this movie as well. So let's start off with the first thing that I absolutely love about this film, and that is the visuals. And if I had to put it into video game terms, this is probably the Super Mario game of your dreams when it comes to graphics because this is on a level that you're probably not going to see until maybe way, way in the future. So I'm hoping video games at some point will look like this and it's just spectacular. I saw this in Adobe Digital 3D and so it looked even better at that point on a large screen. So I highly recommend that you watch this on the largest screen possible. There's just so much details, colors, just a beautiful film to look at. And to go along with that, the music in here is just, mm, a chef's kiss. Because a lot of the music in this movie is based upon the original composer of the Mario games and they just kind of recompose it in this movie. And so if you are a fan of any of the Mario games, you'll hear a lot of themes and beaks that are similar to what you heard, but remix. And there's also other types of music as well, 80s types music, but I didn't enjoy it as much as I did the original Nintendo themes remix here. And everything else in this movie, when it comes from a technical point of view, it is just top notch. One of the best movies that you're gonna see, especially when it comes to CG animation. This is how I wish Sonic the Hedgehog movies were made instead of using the live action. So if you're looking for amazing visual quality and graphics, Super Mario Brothers delivers on so many levels. And the next big thing that this movie offers is just a crazy amount of nostalgia and fan service. As you're watching this movie, there's probably like thousands of pieces of nostalgia, not only in the whole Mario world, but also Nintendo games in general. So don't be surprised as you're watching this movie, you might see like a pizza parlor named after Punch-Out. And if you know what Punch-Out is, then well, you are the right type of person for this movie. There's just so much out there for all the people who have been fans of Nintendo in the 30 plus years of Mario, it's all there. So for somebody like myself who grew up with this, you really, really appreciate with this. And then if you are somebody who's younger and are kids, you still appreciate that as well because Nintendo is still very strong to this day. And the one thing that I really did appreciate in how they did this nostalgia is they did it in a very respectful way. Throughout this movie, they don't like shove this nostalgia in your face. You know, as you're watching this movie, when you see like a scene where uh, Mario and Peach, they're going through this, uh, this level in a way, you could relate with that. Or like if it's Donkey Kong and Mario or Mario and Luigi or Luigi in some deep forest with this flashlight, all of these things are related to things that you've seen before as a gamer and I love every single part of it. And then when it comes to the voice acting and just the characters themselves, there's definitely some controversy here, specifically with Chris Pratt playing Mario, but whenever you're watching this movie, you don't really think about it at all because I think everybody here from Chris Pratt to Anna Taylor-Joy to Jack Black, Seth Rogen, uh, Keegan-Michael Key, all of them did a really amazing job. I don't think anybody did a poor job in this movie. And also when it comes to the actual respect for the original material, if you know of Charles Martinet, who is the original voice of Mario, Luigi, Wario, and many other characters in the whole Nintendo game universe, well, you'd be very pleasant surprised when you watch this movie. And everybody here just does a really awesome job. I was really involved with the characters in this. The characters are written in a way that if you play the video games from the old all the way up to the modern video games, you'll see each one of the characteristics in here. And they're doing the things that they did in their video games as well. So once again, they did a really good job in paying respects to the characters, but also the voice acting was very strong and it supported these characters in a great way. And so the last, and I would say the most important thing about this movie is that it is fun. So from the time the movie started, I had a smile over my face. And by the end of the movie, I had an even bigger smile. It made me feel just like a kid again. And just like when I was a kid playing these Mario Nintendo games, I had such a fun time 
That's the same way that I felt watching this movie because it kind of felt like I was playing and watching a video game at the same time. And that's probably the best compliment I could give. And hats off to everybody at Nintendo, Illumination Studios, co-producer Shigeru Miyamoto, and everybody else involved. You really saw the love, care, and attention that was put in this movie. And it really made it feel special, just like it did with all the video games that we've been playing for all these years. And so you actually had any thoughts on this movie or any other video game movies that you've seen recently and you've enjoyed, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my animation movie and show reviews, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave it in the description area below or up here. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.